It was just one year ago this weekend that we committed ourselves as a church family to a three-year ministry expansion project called Growing to Serve. Growing because that's what the gospel does, to serve because that's what the church is called to do. The total project is about $9 million, and to date, we've received about $6 million in gifts and pledges. So we want to celebrate what God has done over the past 12 months or so. The first thing we were able to do was pay off our church debt. We did that back in January. Then we turned our attention right here to the East Campus to a major renovation project. One of my favorite areas in the new renovation is this new library lobby space. It's great for connecting, maybe having a cup of coffee, or perhaps reading my favorite C.S. Lewis book in front of a warm fire. Brian, the lobby is great, no doubt, and you know I love a good C.S. Lewis book, but this space is really where the action is. In fact, one of the most significant improvements we made here at the East Campus was the redesign and upgrading of our sanctuary, including significant improvements to our video and sound capabilities. This space is now not only beautiful, it's also our most high-tech worship venue. This fall, we launched a brand new service here called the Word and Table Service. And that service, along with our traditional service, are flourishing here at the East Campus. Yeah, okay, the sanctuary is pretty great, but check this out. I'm standing in the lower level of the East Campus that used to be a cluster of small rooms very difficult to use for effective ministry. Now it's our new East Campus Kids Station, a colorful and generous space that makes learning fun for kids. It's got state-of-the-art sound and video that allows our children's ministry staff to use our new true curriculum to teach our kids about Jesus and to help our moms and dads learn spiritual parenting. And Jeff, I ask this, what could be better than that? I'm all for teaching kids and equipping families. But just eight months ago, where I'm standing was old, outdated nursery space. Now we call this area our Shepherd's Heart Care Center, and it's one of the busiest and most exciting parts of our ministry here from Monday through Saturday. It houses our food pantry, our clothing closet, and space to meet with those who are here for financial aid or assistance. Stop by sometime during the week, and you'll see lots of volunteers engaging in various forms of ministry. Hey, you might even get hooked and end up serving here too. I love what's happening through our Shepherd's Heart Care Center, but I can't emphasize enough how important our children are. I'm here in our newly remodeled West Campus Kids Station. It looks a lot like our East Campus Kids Station. We have an improved sound system here now and new video technology and some great new breakout rooms where our kids can meet with their teachers and talk about what they're learning. So Jeff, let's see you top that. Hey Brian, speaking of topping things, I'm actually standing above you right now in the north phase of our West expansion. We all know how important children and students are, and that's what makes this space so exciting. Right behind me, construction is going on on what will be our Masterpiece Ministries room to care for the needs of children with special needs and their families. We're excited because this will greatly enhance our capacity to reach and to serve special needs families in the Fox Valley. And right down this hallway here is going to be a large multi-purpose room for our middle school ministries, as well as ample equipping space for our adults. We think this whole phase will be done in early 2015. Everything we've just shown you is part of the just over $6 million that our church family has pledged or given. So we want to thank you for your generosity. But we also want to cast a vision for the completion of our Growing to Serve project, which will include an addition to the South Phase here at the West Campus. And Jeff and I can debate all day long about which part of the facility we like the best, but we do agree on one thing. And that is that none of this really matters much at all, apart from what we've been learning in our study of the book of Acts. Jesus said, you will be my witnesses. He means us. We'll be his witnesses to the Fox Valley and to the world. So as we celebrate Thanksgiving and look ahead to the Christmas season, we thank God for all his blessings on FBCG, and we thank you for being part of this church family.